Hello, it is I, the Lone Swordsman, and welcome back to another video in Lone Plays Paper Mario, the Origami King. And today we're going to be continuing on our path to Peach's Castle. And yeah, after getting through the Whispering Woods and doing all sorts of strange tree related things, it was a little bit confusing and a little bit long, which I guess sort of made the quota for this um, series in general. Reject the sign. Keep out, unless you want to stay forever. We kind of disobeyed that. Pretty straightforward, right? Yeah, they made me out of one Grand Sappy's branches. Reduce, reuse, recycle, I guess. I mean, that's... That's pretty painful. Goodness, goodness me. Um, if we cover up this hole, we get money. We actually don't have enough confetti, so... You know what to do. Destroy everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, we cover, cover up the hole. What is with the game today? Give me confetti. I need the confetti to make game progress. Okay, well, uh, we'll take these, continue. All right, we have a nice waterfall back there, and oh, goodness. Uh-oh, what's that? Some kind of face, head, hat, thing stuck in the shrub. I've got a bad feeling. I'm a toad! Wait, that's what a toad looks like? Wow, I was way off. That's because my face is folded up! Please, help me! Oh, when in doubt, hammer. That's mar that's marginally better. Now I just need some flattening out, I think. I'm flat again, thank you! I don't mean to be rude, Toad, but I have to ask, how did your face end up so bent and wonky? Oh, it's bad, real bad! I hate this voice so much. These horrible folded guys shot up a set of folded Toads left and right! Most of us got folded before we could even ask what was going on. What do they have against toads? It's not fair! Toads have rights! This is toad abuse! Ah, I just re-traumatized myself! That sucks. Sounds like folded soldiers to me. It must be my brother's doing. I know we've got a few other things on our plate, but you will help any toads we find, won't you, Mario? I heard that, and I'm holding you to that affirmative gesture, Mario. But us toads can help you too! If you press Y during battle, we'll come cheer you on! The more of us you have cheering, the more help we can give you! Good things will happen, I promise! Oh, we will charge you a modest fee for the cheering. Should have mentioned that. It's 999 coins. Nothing we can afford. But it's nothing we can't afford, sorry. But it sounds like it could be a big help to have them cheer us on in battle, don't you think? Let's save as many toys as we can and get them to root for us, Mario. They're basically the um, assist if you need it. Uh, there's a, they're just sort of like, crap, I'm on really low health. Done. Don't, couldn't solve this puzzle, so I'm probably not going to get very far with the attack. What could I possibly do? Cheat with money. Money, money can buy happiness in this world. Uh, yeah, if we continue on, we are now at actually a new e uh, area that I don't think it has one of those little blurbs that shows up, as it's still technically labeled as the Whispering Woods. It's Toad's Barbecue and Food Eatery, which, for those of you fellow meters, memers, not meters, I don't know what I'm saying. Now, uh, if we hit this tree, the radio falls off, so it's just blank silence. I think that's pretty funny. Um, inside the tent, there's nothing interesting whatsoever. Over here, we open this up. There's another toad, so we whack him a bunch, and voila. As for the whole memer thing, this sounds a bunch like toads, barbecue, and foot massage. Okay, well, we saved these guys. That's gonna be the title for this video, because I love saying that so much. Um, yeah, if we go inside this tent, we have a bag of confetti, which is honestly pretty needed right now. Because now we are... We're gonna need it. Uh, over here on the swing, we have a paper Goomba. Folded Goomba. Origami Goomba. I don't know what these guys are called. But, but, you know, in the battles, as you're about to see, because, you know, the battles... I mean, yeah, the puzzles really aren't aren't that difficult, but they actually get somewhat difficult pretty soon. These guys are labeled as just Goombas, so... Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and use the... Finally, I got a perfect action command. I am so rusty with this game, so it's good to, it's good to be back. Um, let's go ahead and pop off with the hammer there. Whack, perfect battle, let's go. No damage bonus. Oh, there's all sorts of bonuses, all sorts of stuff, all sorts of confetti, all sorts of money. Um, yeah, I think later on we'll show you the whole thing about Guys, toads are helpful, so you should save the little squeakies. 
Um, also, for those of you who are wondering what the fourth category is for all the areas, uh, it's, it's rescuing toads. Um, also, if you fall in one of these holes, it takes seven damage, which really isn't that bad really, l later on in the game when we have literal heaps of health. But right now, at this point in the game, if you fall in one hole too many times, you're dead. So, uh, yeah, definitely keep that in mind. Uh, up here we have a thousand coins. Sure, you know what, game? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll with that. I believe I have a paper somewhere. I better not l lost this paper because I actually spent so long. Okay, here it is. And it has a list of all sorts of things. I'm not gonna be showing it because it's my handwriting's garbage. You don't want to look at it. So yeah, uh, do re mi fa so la ti. Don't mind me. I like that. Over here we have a bench. Sit on the bench. Push me over. Ah, finally, a minute to rest. Hmm, Mara, look at you. You've gone from poop to pepped. I'm so glad. I can't face all those full soldiers alone. You, you're all I got, so stay rested, okay? When you see a bench, take a break and heal up. These are basically free heal points. Uh, the heal, except they're free, unlike the heal blocks in the older Paper Mario games. Over here, we have some more wood. Check. And the olive eyes, that's so scuffed to look at. We used to be trees, but don't feel bad for us. We'll turn into ashes and grow again. Cause that's how trees work, I think. Maybe not, I don't know. I pull this toad out of the stump, and he's creased. Ah, uh, thank you. Oh, thank you! I don't know why I was trying to cut more firewood like that. I have plenty! And he's just gonna chill there with the fire. One day I'll burn. Light me. We must burn. Doesn't that kind of? I think that I think that reminds me of the one Suicide Souls and um the, the Suicide Souls in Hat and Time, but you know, you never know. Got another battle here. Two jumpings, jumping Goombas. Oh, we have another two action command thing. Uh, yeah, we did it. Yeah, these battles aren't that difficult. Uh, there are, like I said, there are some later on that definitely um flex your brain muscles because they'll be getting more complicated later on. Just, just, I'll just leave it at that. You'll understand it soon enough. As we can see in the background, we got these stands, and you can see a couple of toads sitting there. But don't worry, by the end of the game, they'll be filled to the brim with little squeakers, and they won't shut up for the entire time. It gets annoying, but it's not that bad. They're only toads, after all. What, what could possibly go wrong? Okay, I'm not gonna say that. Uh, it got some money. Under the stump, we have a toad. Hello, toad. Ah, oh, thank you! I was upside down with the log side up! Now I can be upside up with the log side down! Or something. I think that actually makes sense if you think about it, but maybe I'm weird. Uh, we've got more music, which of course, as we all know, is unacceptable. If we break this toad out of the, um, bush we have... I was hoping for a helping hand, but I got a helping hammer! You're just full of surprises. And I was gonna hide near a fence. I, I don't know why. He doesn't, he doesn't do anything. Toad, toads do toads thing. Oops. Uh, here we go. Um... Got another enemy here. I believe we do that, and then yeah, okay. Um, at the start of each battle, you'll see how they get set up. So if you pay attention to that, most of them will be very um, difficult. But I was thinking about other things because you know, as someone does. I wasn't really concentrating, and that's why it, it took me a couple of seconds to figure out what was going on. Uh, but yeah. Um, also, every enemy you defeat also gives you some coins. We've already got 5,000 coins in this game. I don't think I need to say it anymore. The money will never stop coming, okay? Okay, um, if we keep going along, up here we've got a cabin and music, which, like I said, is unacceptable. We break it off again, because we're jerks. Uh, over here we have a house. Can I help you? The toad who lives here isn't home right now and has actually been gone for kind of a long time. Well, I'll have to come back here over some other time when, you know, toad is back. Because toads be doing bad things. Uh, this little crumpled ball? That's a toad. It was so lolly back here with no one to talk to. I had to come up with an imaginary friend. She's actually pretty cool. Do you want to hear all about her? Oh yeah, I guess you can press X to get a hint from your real friend, whatever you want, so you wouldn't understand. Gosh, that, that actually, that's, that's kind of sad. Um, over here we have a bit of a wood pile, and oh my gosh, just get out of there. Stop, what are you doing? And he magically uncreases himself, mostly. Thanks for saving me from that wood pile. 
But these crazes are so deep. Will I ever go back to normal? Hmm. Well, there's a square on the ground. If we hit this, it's an uh, item block. And it, the toad toad's a bit of a surprise. I think that's a little weird. But, um, yeah, earlier in the whisper, Whispering Woods, we saw one of those. So, um, yeah, we're going to need more, more tripping trips back and stuff. I don't know. I'll probably do some off-camera stuff. I don't know. Uh, now that we've covered that up, we can head up here, collect all these coins, and then head behind to get another 100 coins. I'm just gonna stop saying things about the money at this point. Um, you guys get the point. Um, yeah, so not much else to do here, so if we head down this way, we have a nice little sign here, and this is where the sign that says, firing it up so you can wolf it down. Welcome to Toad's Barbecue and Barbecue Foodie, Food Eatery. Toad's Barbecue and Foot Massage. All firewood used is happy to burn. Yeah, I mean, we saw that earlier, but I guess since the woods are, the trees are sentient, you do have to call, you have to state that. Toad Town. Well, that's pretty close to Peach's Castle. We've been there. Let's head over that way. Here we go. Welcome to Toad Town. Um, well, we gotta hold it cover up here. I mean, this doesn't look very toe towny to me yet, but oh, we'll probably get to it. Oh, goodness. Fresh paper alert. Let's fold them up. It's time for a wave battle. These don't have ended. There's, no, there's actually, these wave battles, there's none of them except for the short folks who were related to them. Like this, if you, that's what you can call them. Uh, look, more puny little goombas. This will be a piece of cake. Line them up and take them out with a quick jump attack. I uh, adjust my microphone, so it might have been a little bit loud there. Wait, something's wrong. No matter which thing you turn, that one Goomba won't fall in line. I'm getting dizzy. Let's stop rotating those rings and think about this. I think there's some other way to move enemies around. Um, it's slipping. No, it's sl sl How do you say that? Striding? Line dancing? Oh, it's sliding! You can rotate each of the rings, but you can also slide the panels in a row. Like... If you press L or R, I always do L. I didn't actually make you press R. There you go. Your area of control has changed from a ring to a row. Now we're ready to slide. So if we do uh, select this ring and then we slide. Yep. So we can do this. And the combination of the two of those can make some pretty confusing puzzles. That's what I mean. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and attack these guys. Or they're not different Goombas, they're just, you know, special tutorial things to make puzzle better. Uh, we got another wave here. Basically the same thing? Yeah. Don't talk to me, Olivia. Screw you. Looks like we're turning the rings one did the trick in this last wave. Let's try slamming the panels into place again. Wow. I'm so impressed with myself. Uh, because of the attack power boost that you get from doing the arranging of the enemies, if you don't solve the puzzle, you can just ask. You're just asking to get screwed over, okay? Um, it's also pretty bad if you if if you're not strong enough to take out some enemies, which this that can be a major issue. And why the battle system can sometimes be marginally difficult. We're saved. What were those Goombas doing, kidnapping us? And where were they taking us? Were they even Goombas? They're folded in in a really off-putting way. We're taking an L on this one, guys. We got rescued by Mario, but you know what? Maybe we should put aside our differences for a while, eh? We're all paper. Let's watch each other's backs. All right, guys, let's fight folds with stacks. Move it out. It looks like my brother really is turning all kinds of paper fo folks into an army of folded soldiers. At this rate, it feels like the whole world is going to be overrun with them. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, if we go, if we collect more coins and confetti, they'll do coins and confetti things. Wow. Um, yay. Um. I need a bit of confetti. Or not that much, apparently. Thanks, Trey. You're so helpful. Um, here's Toad Town. And some creepy looking Goombas. We better go check that out. Uh oh. Don't do this to me again. Okay, I really I really don't need the money game. Please give me some confetti. I I like I really need the confetti. Really badly. Like, super badly. Give, give me the confetti. Or not. Thanks, game. You're, you're so good. I, I, I definitely, definitely love you so much. Uh, we head along this way. There's the entrance to Toad Town. 
And we also learned there was no road to Toe Town in the first place, and the entire introduction, uh, introductory segment of the game was just a lie. I got some more confetti here. Oh, well, game's locked for listening to me now. Fantastic. And we're officially in Toe Town now. Hmm? It doesn't look like there's anyone here. Oh, look at that big hole spot over there. That means my brother might have been here already, and I'm sure he was up to no good. Hold on, there is someone here. Are my eyes playing tricks on me, or is that creature way, way too big to be real? It's not like any origami I've ever seen before. And what exactly is it doing to that house? It's eating it? Ew, it's eating the house. I can't imagine how yucky it must taste. These macho papery things must be the source of the holes we've been seeing everywhere. Ugh! Macho papery things? Maybe they're called paper macho weapons. G enemies. This is a paper macho Goomba. Wait, look at the thing's back. That's a seal of my brother's face. That might mean my brother is powering it somehow. If that's the case, the seal could be some kind of weak point. Yeah, thanks game. Da just point out the weak point instead of leaving us to figure it out. Awesome. And we knock it off. It, it's 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 sad now. And now it's attacking. It'll charge us. And we dodge out of the way and whack it with more hammer strikes. These guys also give you confetti, so if you see one of these, you can bet you're gonna get pretty close to a full bag. Yes, that did the trick. So the weak point on that paper macho soldier was my brother's seal. You should remember that. Now what were we doing here? I'm all turned around after that excitement. Oh right, we were looking for the place where Peter's castle used to be. Well, the gate right is over there. It's right over there. We might as well head up check it out. Keep the hammer ready in case we run into more of those huge monsters, okay? Okay, so, Toe Town is the main hub of this game, and eventually we'll get some stuff going on here. But of course, it's deserted right now because of the evils of King Oli. So, yeah, we're gonna have to do some exploring and fun general stuff. If we head over here, well, we have a save block and a nice little garden in here, but if we head to the left, under the bridge, a treasure chest. And we also get from that, collectible, collectible treasure number four, a torch from Peach's castle. Collectible treasure number three we'll get later, okay? They order they order them in the area you'll get and not what order you get them. It's a little bit annoying. But you know, it's fine. Just because we'll be getting collectible treasure number three towards the little freaking end of the game doesn't mean that it's a bad game design. Everything's bad game design now because of game reviewers being dorks. And we're also going to heal for no real reason. And Olivia talks. Um, yeah, so there's nothing to do in any of these buildings right now. Battle Lab, training tough toads tirelessly. Awesome. Uh, this pipe also, I don't think. The other end of the pipe is blocked. Yes, that's what I thought. Okay. So. Uh. More stuff to do. Um, yeah, we, there's nothing we can really do right now in Toad Town. All of these places are shops and whatnot, but you know, it's it's, it's just not nothing special. It's just nothing special. Uh, if we head in here, it's locked. If we head in here, it's not locked. Ooh, spooky. And there's another door in the back that if we go through, we get to these houses backyard if we look at this because apparently houses share a backyard now and they also share some treasure you got collectible treasure number five the camp speaker um yeah we don't actually have much else to do here uh, I really would have thought this would have taken longer, but since it's a hub area of the game, most of the collectibles that you find around here, you find as you progress through the game. Because I've got a long list of things you can do here, and, well, most of them take place a lot later in the game. Um, we do want to take out most of these paper macho guys, for, you know, simple reasons. Uh, got some holes here, too. Don't expect to find all of those holes and stuff around on your very first go-through. Uh, just, just don't even think about that. that, that that's foolish. Uh, holes, you should also whack, like those tiny ones there. Uh, for some reason, they always give you stuff. This umbrella also gives us a magic circle. And in here, we can talk to... Oh, it's a sniffet. Keep it on the down low, would ya? That's a terrible lot of these guys. I'm just trying to save my own sniff. If you catch my drift, hide out here until them things are history. I suppose I could sell you some stuff while I'm here. 
Hey, I'm not the owner. Have a sample in the house. The first one is free. So we're gonna rabbit espresso or a turtle tea. We want a rabbit espresso for a good reason. Thanks. Now scram. And we talk. We walk quite fast with that. Uh, we want to grab up here and pull it down. This was in the trailer, so if you saw it, cool. You know how to do this. Um, we pull that down and we have a platform. So if we go up these boxes on the umbrella we whacked and across here, voila, we're making progress. We can also pull this piece of tape off because sticker star needs more reminders. We need more reminders of sticker star. Uh, we can pull that down. We can also try and go in here, but unfortunately, like always, it, everything's locked. So up here we have another paper macho guy. Uh, whack the seal. Uh, don't die when it runs at you. That's a surrender flag, I just realized. But that's pretty cool. Uh, whack it a bunch. You only hit it once after every charge, so yeah, keep that in mind when you're fighting these guys. Uh, Blamo. There was a sniffet inside. That's not disturbing. I'll spare you the details, but know this. I am a Sniffet, and I was inside that Goomba. Do you have any idea what it was like in there? Never mind, just take this and try to forget what happened to me. Collectible treasure number six, coins. Instead of giving us actual coins, we'll just give you mo mm, um, counterfeit. After all, this home was built with the pr proceeds from a lucrative confetti sales operation. There are big coins in the confetti business. Come see me anytime, and I'll sell you the finest luxury confetti you've ever had the pleasure of scattering. So yeah, if you need confetti, talk to this guy. I've never actually used him, so just don't, I guess. Um, yeah, if we keep exploring, because, goodness me, this video's already taken a lot more than it should. Uh, we can see a shy guy in there, so we can sneak through here, go upwards, and voila, holes will be covered. <laughs> Talk to the Sniffet. Not this item. Is that how you're a Sniffet? It's probably a Sniffet. Those horrible giant Goombas showed up right around the time the toad disappeared. I heard loud noises coming from Pinky's castle, too. Just what is going on? All sorts of chaos. Mostly to do with origami, so, uh, yeah, I'm definitely not har harboring the fugitive, more or less. Uh, none of these houses have anything important. Just keep that in mind. Here's Peach's castle. What? The bridge is broken. Now, how are we gonna get to Peach's castle? It's not like we can just jump in an underground tube, travel through it somehow, and pop out on the other side, can we? That would be too crazy. Nah. Um, if we head through this pipe, maybe this will lead us over there? Nope, that would be too easy. We'll just majorly inconvenience you like the terrible, terrible pipes that we are. Um, over here, we have a pipe. Because we've never seen one of those before. Some confetti. And let's tear off the tape because, you know, sticker star. I've already made that joke. Um, pop through here. And it's going to inconvenience us some even more because that's exactly what we needed right now. Thanks, game. Actually, we have some. T we have two paper monchos over here, so we might want to keep that in mind. Oh, uh, crap. Um, whack. It's going to charge at us, which isn't good. And we better dodge. Uh, whack. Yeah, you get how these battles work. Um, fun fact about this game. I don't know why I said that. I didn't actually have a fun fact. Um, this game was announced two months before it actually came out. The more you know, I guess. Uh, it also came out literally last year, so that's also pretty cool. If we head inside this building, we will find a lot of nothing. Except for a broken box, which if you break open is just confetti. We have to do. We also have a thing. Pull this out. They reveal it's a spike. Yo. Oh, whoa, I thought you might be one of those hideous folded guys or something. That's all you said. Okay. Well, let's talk to you again, because I think you say I'm important. What are those folded things anyways? I've been hiding in here since the moment I saw one. I don't know. If we break the if we whack this a bunch, we can see that the boxes are a bit loose. Um to do with them, I guess. Um, that means there's nothing to do here. Even though there's coins up there, and they're taunting me. Like I said, coins are useless, mostly. You're gonna get plenty yourself. Um, let's go ahead and cover this up. This, this video's been going on for ages. Hold up. That's bonkers. Um, yeah, I might need to cut it now. At least... 
I would speed it up, but my editing program just doesn't want to, you know, work. So, I guess I won't be it, speeding it up, because, you know, everything's great and dandy like that. Uh, please don't kill me. I really don't want you to kill me. Awesome! Uh, yeah, we basically explored the entirety of Toad Town, except for the mysterious pipe that we need to make progress. You can't open that door, I'm not even going to try. Um, keep making some progress, you can't open that door either. Over here, we can see that there is a Shy Guy wedge between the door. That's not awkward at all. Hey, thanks for that. I owe you one. Ooh, but I could pay you back right now with information. If you're trying to get to Peach's Castle, you can take the sewer over there. I mean, that's pretty helpful. Uh, nothing over here. So, all we gotta do is open this up. Or not. Oh, I forgot to mention that you need a special manhole hook to get down there. I think my friend is using it right now. Just look for a red shy guy like me, but not quite as handsome. That's a pretty good line. But, do you and it's also pretty good ending the video. Or we can talk to that guy. Um, yeah. I'm gonna need to end it soon. These videos are getting a little bit too long for my liking. Actually, we don't really have to. Those horrible giant Goombas showed up right around the time- Oh, you, you're not the right one? Thought I was a red shy guy? Well, sorry to disappoint, but I'm a sniff it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, that sucks. I keep exploring for this guy. Oh, he's over this way. Sorry. <laughs> Spoilies! Uh, yeah, there's no fast travel method in this game. At all. You're going to be walking a lot. Oh, yeah, down this way we can see there is a red shy guy inside that guy's mouth. And we can't get over there, so we're going to have to go through the inside. Bop-a-da-bop-a-da-bop-a-da-ba. Bop -a -da -bop -a -da -ba. Open on up, walk on through, and um, if we try going through the door, it's blocked by the fat guy, or fat Goomba. So if we head up, or useless, uh, we can break through the window and jump out like the epic spy action star that we are. Now, now we beat him up, now we beat up the loser. Well, well, while the victims in this, this is really weird. So yeah, th a lot of people are like, man, this game must be really dark. No, no, if you've played the Paper Mario franchise, you know that this, this series has a bit of a penchant for being slightly dark. Dork. I said dork, what's wrong with me? Dark. I actually, I, I said dork because I am one. Ha 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 ha. If we save you, it's nearly as handsome. I don't know what you're talking about, but that hook isn't here. Check out the red brick building at the porch. That's where I left it. Oh, thank you. Should we go check it out, Mario? Yeah, we keep keep doing fetch quests as I try to end this freaking video because, you know, I don't like it taking too long. Um, those, or those annoying pipes that we were talking about earlier, they're gonna be convenient now. Oh, I get it. The one right there leads you over to where the actual hook is, and then this one leads you over to the red brick building by the porch. That's substantially less useless. Okay, now I just feel like a loser. Um, let's head inside that red brick building. Like, I knew something was important, like, there. It's almost like I played this game before. Hmm. Well, uh, we don't have much we can do here, but that box is going to, that box is going to move. And eventually, it's going to pop up and hopefully give us the hook. And if we open it up, we have a magic circle. Voila! So, we can use this to, uh, find the opening. There it is, uh, up there. We pull it across, open it up, and there's a door! Mystical, magical, and all sorts of other happy adjectives. Um, enemies too. Wave battle. Oh, it looks kinda like Earthbound. Okay, well, that's neat. I don't actually remember that. So, basically what I said earlier is useless. I'm, I'm, that, that's great. That's just what I needed right now. Um, I'm getting antsy about how long this video is. This is about half, um, half an hour, and it's probably going to be a bit short with occasional cuts here and there, but, you know, if we kill these enemies, we kill the enemies. I, I keep doing this if we do this statement, I guess, like an if-then statement like scientists use, I don't know. Um, that's a coding thing, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, it's a little weird, we kill the Goombas, and that's how Mario works. Uh, Let's move along with our day.
We have 6,900 coins, and I am perfectly fine with that. Get it? Because 69, funny number. Yeah, hey, hey. Well, if we hit this cart, it'll move over, giving us a extremely convenient way to get up here. Or not, if we're bad. We got an item block here, which gives us 100 coins, and in this box, we have nothing. Goody. If we bust open this box, we have nothing. What do we do? We can actually knock it back over, and... What am I supposed to do again? Hmm. Game... Oh, wait. Okay, no, I did it right. Uh, we head over here. Hop up here. Hop up here. Hop up here. Hump up. Hop. Hump over here. No. Hop over here. There's a mushroom inside. And... You got the manhole hook. A hook for uh, accessing graffiti underground in Town. Awesome! I'm gonna go ahead and cut, and I will meet you guys back over there. Here we are, the sewer manhole. If we open it up with our hook, we will open it up, head into the sewer, drop down, and... End the video because cliffhangers in the very dark room! Isn't that fantastic? Heck, it's so dark in here! Why does everyone seem to like this place so much? Can you turn on the lights, Mario? Otherwise, it'll be dark all the way through this place. We can turn on the lights, or turn them off, on your device, because you're going to stop watching this video. Or you may watch something else. I don't know. You go do what you want. Bye-o!